my Skyview 2 is finally here. I was uh, uh, collect parcel tadi saya call ni. Uh, I bagi tracking number. Yeah. Ada. Uh, one MY one zero zero one. They are looking for it. So hopefully somewhere in the storeroom. All right. Yeah. Nah, sign. Okay, sekejap eh, saya nak pergi. So I collected the box this afternoon. Um, I was so busy with work and so I had to wait till tonight to do the unboxing. It's been four months waiting for this Skydio 2 to arrive and it's finally here. I can't wait to open the box. So this is the Skydio 2 cinema kit that comes with the Pro Hard case and it fits all the additional accessories that comes with the cinema kit. Uh, the starter kit on the other hand comes only with the smaller custom fit hard shell case. Uh, over here you can see it says design assembled and supported in the United States of America. So essentially what that means is they don't have any regional support centers and if you have any issues or problems with the drone you would have to contact the US support team. So now a little bit more about the kit that I got. There are actually four ordering options starting with the starter kit here and that goes for $999. So with the starter kit you get the Skydio 2 drone, you get one year warranty, you get one battery, uh, two extra propellers, uh, the charger which only allows you to charge the battery when it's attached to the drone body. You get a microfiber cloth and then you get the custom fit hard shell case. The second option available here is the sports kit going at uh, additional $500. So with the sports kit it's a great option for those who want the extra ability to control the drone single-handedly using what they call the Skydio beacon here. This beacon also provides better tracking of your location using GPS. So for the additional $500, you get everything in the starter kit. Um, and on top of that, you get two extra batteries, which makes that a total of three. Um, you get an external dual battery charger, which allows you to charge the batteries independently of the, uh, the drone. Uh, you get a 128 gigabyte micro SD card, and then you get the Skydio beacon. For that additional $500, you would get these five items. Now, I was thinking that for my action sports activities, the sports kit would do just fine. However, I also wanted the ability to manually fly the drone for my B-roll footage. So, I wanted to also get extra propellers. And also, when shooting on a sunny, very, very sunny day, one would also need the ND filters. So, that's why the cinema kit made sense to me and that was selling at $1,899. So you get everything that you get in the sports kit, um, but you get the joystick controller, the Pro Hard case, and the Pro ND filters. And finally, the last option available for purchase is what they call the Pro Kit, going at $2,499. And simply put, you get everything in the cinema kit, but on top of that, you also get the uh, tablet adapter for the controller and you get Skydio Premier Support. Uh, Premier Support uh, basically extends your warranty from one year to two and you also get higher priority service and also what they call the Advanced Exchange Replacement which is a one-to-one -one replacement for in-warranty issues. Now it's time to open the case. Open Sesame! Ta-da! This this, this might just be the first Skydio 2 in Malaysia. There are a lot of hobbies out there, including myself, that has been eyeing our hands on this Skydio 2. But because they only ship to the US and Canada, they don't ship to any other parts of the world. So you have to figure out how to get it delivered to you here. So I'll talk a bit about that later in terms of how I managed to figure out how to get it delivered to Malaysia. As you can see here, um, everything that is included in the cinema kit 
is nicely tucked away and protected very well so if you drop the case um, everything's gonna be just fine um, so over here you've got the uh, three batteries and then uh, here you've got the charger um, and the dual battery charging uh, station uh, over here you've got the uh, Skydio beacon and over here you've got the uh, joystick controller so to turn it on just have to flip up then this uh, pocket here you've got the microfiber cloth so they gave me two I've got the uh, four extra sets of propellers tucked away inside of the slot um, and then over here I've got the uh, charging cables as well as the cable to connect to your phone devices uh, USB-C to USB-C and USB-C to uh, the lightning connector so last but not least um, here is the Skydio drone there are actually six cameras in total, three at the bottom and three at the top of the drone. That's the front camera over here. So I already took out the uh, micro SD memory card and actually slotted it into the slot here. So as I mentioned earlier, Skydio doesn't deliver to Malaysia or any other countries in the world for that matter other than the US and Canada. So initially I tried googling and searching Amazon uh, searching Lazada, Shopee for any resellers that would deliver to Malaysia, but there was none. Um, I tried uh, googling the term Skydio 2 for sale in Malaysia. Um, there were a number of results, but uh, none of them were actually selling the Skydio 2. Um, there was one company called Drone Flush, and they had the Skydio 2 listed in their website. Um, so when I clicked the buy now link and the website, it actually pointed me back to Skydio website anyway. So after a few days of uh, searching and googling around, I realized that there was really no other way to get the Skydio delivered directly to Malaysia. Um, no resellers here in Malaysia, no regional sellers, no regional shops at all. I called up a few friends I, and Asked them how did they get their US products delivered to Malaysia. So apparently they are service providers that would actually provide you a US address. They are like a forwarding company so you can get a US address which is like a proxy address for you and then you get Skydio to deliver uh, the, the package to your US address and then these service providers will then deliver those packages to Malaysia. So you can buy one item or you can buy multiple items and have them consolidate all your purchase and then deliver it to Malaysia. There are a few companies that you can choose, uh, the likes of uh, myus.com, Stackery, uh, USA2Me. In my case, I chose myus.com. Um, the registration for a free account was very easy. The steps were very easy. So the process is very simple. There are three main steps. Of course, step one, you register for your free account. Um, step two, basically, after you complete your registration, you will get your US address. It's as simple as that. Then step three, proceed to go to the Skydio website and make your purchase and fill up the US address that you received from myus.com. Now, once you've gotten the shipping details from Skydio, you need to log in to your MyUS account. And then what you will see is your suite that represents your locker. You click on the incoming package tab and then click browse files to upload a copy of the Skydio order confirmation email that you would have received from Skydio. You should also click the view sample link to make sure that your order confirmation email contains all the necessary information that is required by MyUS to get them ready to expect your incoming package. Once the package arrives, they will take about a day to update the information to your suite. As the Skydio package comes with batteries, expect your package to then go into the In Review tab as MyUS would need to do some verification on export and import restrictions. This will take about a day or two and after that your package will then be ready to be delivered out. Take note that when they receive your package, they would also need to open it to perform their verification. 
and they would also upload some photos for your viewing pleasure. One of the things that you need to decide as well is to update your account information with the preferred shipping provider to Malaysia. So this box here is your local address and below it you can choose to let MyUS decide which would be the least expensive option at the time. Or you can specifically select your shipping preference below it. So in my case, I selected FedEx Priority and I also left the default option of having it shipped in its original boxes. They also provide a tool for you to calculate what would be the shipping cost, which is based on the weight of the package. In this case, for example, the cinema kit that I purchased weighed in at close to 15 pounds. This weight was provided by UPS in their tracking information. So once you've done that, you would be presented with a list of shipping options with different delivery times and prices. And this was what I used to land on my preferred choice of shipping. Of course, with different items that you're ordering later, you can actually go back to your account settings and change your shipping choice again later. So that's basically some of the key things that I'd like to share with you in terms of how I managed to get my Skydio delivered to Malaysia via those uh, forwarding companies. So this process is very similar for other countries as well. And so I hope this video has helped those of you who are dying to get your hands on the Skydio too. Happy buying folks. And if this video has helped you, do hit that like button. I'll be planning to make my next video, which is on how I configure the drone and how it flies on my first test flight. And if you like to watch that video, appreciate that you hit that subscribe button as well. And that's it.